Then there's Wild Arctic, which houses a motion simulator that motion simulates a helicopter ride to an Arctic base station. I can see we have a hearty group of adventurers today, although some of you seem to be lacking in the proper equipment. Shorts and t-shirts are not Arctic gear. Wait, they're not? Oh, that's right, you're from Florida. You think water freezes at 60 degrees. Wimps. The ride is kind of like if Star Tours went to Hoth, before they updated Star Tours so that it went to Hoth. The cabin is much larger than Star Tours, but the screen is much, much, much smaller, and the motion doesn't synchronize to the screen nearly as well. And the shifts between live-action stock footage and CGI footage are really obvious. And I've never been able to ride this without feeling at least a little bit nauseous afterwards. But then you get to explore the Arctic base, which manages to combine great theming and animal exhibits at the same time! See, SeaWorld? You and I can both get what we want. It's not that hard. But I guess that name was